Alrighty, what is going on guys? Hopefully you guys have had a good week so far. Welcome back to another Sunday School uh, message. So uh, let us all um, uh, go to God before we begin. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for uh, everything that's been going on so far. Even though it's been a little rough, Lord, I know that you have put it in place to make us um, better and stronger within our walk with you, Lord and Father. And so as we begin this message, I pray that this message goes to help uh, us with uh, knowing who you are and what you uh, want from us, Lord Heavenly Father. And so I thank you so much in the Jesus' name. Amen. Alrighty. So again, we are going over this book, the doctrine, old devotional doctrine, and we're going chapter by chapter. And so today's the first week of this, and so I'm excited about this one. Um, but of course, we're going to be in this book a whole lot more than we're going to be in this book. Um, for this book, I'm not going to read it uh, word for word, but if you guys do want word for word, please let me know and I'll hopefully try to work something out. But uh, other than that, let's get started. Um, so for this one, the first chapter is called Show and Tell. And if you guys have uh, done Show and Tell before or seen a Show and Tell before, you would know that, uh, of course, uh, or if you've done Show and Tell, <laughs> yeah, you would know uh, that you would bring in something that's worth the value of yourself and show everyone what that object is or something whatever it is <laughs> and you will tell them why it's so special to you and so uh i've personally almost never done one before but rem from what i remember it was very hard for me to find that object it was a show like a toy i believe yeah and so one thing i was thinking I, it took me forever like that whole night i was thinking i was like what am I going to bring in? What am I going to bring in? Because, well, number one, I was afraid of someone or some people not liking my object. Or uh, I was afraid of being laughed at or made fun of because of my object that was so special to me. And number two, I was scared because, uh, well, I had to tell everyone about it. I had to get up in front of the stage or the front of the class and let everyone know. And so, yeah, timid kid. <laughs> yeah, so those two were the the very things that made um, um a show and tell very hard for me but i mean in other words you you get very personal with yourself and so number one i wrote show and tell is making yourself very vulnerable on a personal level because it is something about yourself that you are showing to other people that they may not know about and so yeah that's a very vulnerable thing and so today uh what this book is talking about show and tell is god showing and telling us everyone about himself and so how does God show us uh, who he is and so I wrote down here it says Romans chapter 1 verse 19 through 20 so all right it says this because that which is known about God is evident within them for God made it evident to them for since the creation of the world his invisible attributes his eternal power and divine nature has been clearly seen, being understood through what has been made, so that they are without excuse. And so with this one, God shows himself through creation. And so, of course, um, with creation-wise, it's something has to start it. No matter what it is, something has to start it. Something just can't pop up out of nowhere. And so, in this one, it says, without excuse. And so they'll have a reason for why things are the way they are. And when you look at the earth itself, when you look at uh, the trees, uh, the seas and us, all that stuff, someone must have created it. And that was God pretty much. And so God is showing himself uh, to you through that, that way. But it says invisible qualities, invisible attributes. But also, um, I wrote down here, God also shows you himself physically and that's through jesus and so let's turn to hebrews chapter 1 verse 1 through 3 it says god after he spoke long ago to the fathers and the prophets in many portions and in many ways and so that he revealed himself to people back in the day as well he's shown himself but it was through more words and so that's god literally telling them and so we'll get into that later uh, verse 2, In these last days has spoken to us in his Son, whom he appointed heir of all things, through whom he also made the world. And he is the radiance of his glory and the exact rep representation of his nature, and upholds all things by the word of his power. 
when he has made purification of sins, he sat down at the right hand of his majesty on high. And so in this one, God showed us himself physically through Jesus. And so, of course, what Jesus did was he saved us uh, from our sins. But also right here, we're getting to the God tells now. God told the prophets back in the day about what Jesus uh, is. And Jesus, well, yeah, he told himself about what um, everything that's going to go on, including uh, Jesus is coming. And so it talks about here uh, in verse 3, it says, And the, he is the radiance of his glory and the exact representation of his nature. And so I want to talk about that. Who ups will hold all things by the word of his power and so of course god's words has power in it like we discussed last week and so uh, in second timothy chapter 3 verse 16 it shows us that all scripture is inspired by god and profitable for teaching for reproof for correction for training in righteousness so everything in a sense of this book the bible is god's words and so God shows himself literally uh, to us through his word. And so that's how God also tells about himself as well. He is righteous. And so, in other words, to sum this up, God shows and tells us. He puts that in place so we can know him personally. Because remember, show and tell is about you um, making yourself very vulnerable on a personal level so people can get to know you more. And so God, uh, he shows us and he tells us everything in there. So he can get us to know us per personally, well, to know him personally, sorry. And through that, we may see his power. And that was through creation and all the, the things. And it's like, it's, it's amazing what he can do. So we don't know the exact limitations of his power. And so, of course, when we do see that, we see his power. And his nature, um, not, you know, the forests and all that stuff. It's um, who he is, his character. You could say. So he is righteous and he is holy as we have seen through the verses that we have read. And also we know that he is loving. And loving through Jesus enough to save us from our sins. And so that's uh, how God shows and tells us. So yeah, that was the first chapter in this de devotional doctrine. Let's all go to God. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for uh, giving us this message, Lord. I pray that... Um, as you continue to uh, show us who you are and tell us about who you are, Lord, that we may uh, understand you uh, on a personal level, Lord, and hopefully um, reveal more about ourselves to you so that we may have a deeper connection to you, Heavenly Father. And so I thank you so much for everything you've done, Lord. I pray you keep us safe through uh, this coronavirus that's still taking place, Lord, Heavenly Father. Who knows when it's going to end, but I know that you uh, have shown yourself that you have a uh, more power than this coronavirus, Lord, and that you will defeat this coronavirus, but also that you will tell us uh, about who you are and so that no matter what may go on, Lord, Heavenly Father, and that we will be righteous throughout all this just as um, you are righteous, Lord, Heavenly Father. So I pray and I uh, lift up everyone here up to you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, I pray. Amen. All right, y'all. See y'all next week. God bless.